difficult really. I think when you, you play and you come to a new club, the first thing you want to do is make a good impression. But uh, the, the fact that I've had a few injuries has been really disappointing and, uh, as I said, frustrating. I, I really want to get back on the field and the situation the boys are in. We, we're struggling a little bit at the minute, but uh, hopefully we can turn things around and put in some good performances and uh, hopefully get fit soon. Um, I, I think obviously that, that's part of the aspect of sport and the, the, the challenge of it, really. Um, when when you're winning, it, it's easy. Everything becomes natural, and you're not occurring in the world. But as as you as you're struggling, I think to motivate yourself becomes really difficult. Um, but I think it, it's within the person themselves. If you've got that will to will to win and to get better week after week, it, I think that is what's instilled into you, and that, that's why one of the reasons I play rugby is to get better. And when you're losing, as you say, it becomes difficult. But I think the younger kids are a, a breath of fresh air, really. They're the ones who's not really experienced anything before and they're coming with nothing to lose. And I think they're the ones that get you through it, really. Ah, that's a difficult one. Um, yeah, I had good times at all three clubs, um, but I wouldn't really like to pick pick one over the other. I think they've all got different aspects that I really enjoyed and um, ah, struggling with that. Uh, but no, role-wise, I think obviously playing's what everyone wants to do and that would be the ideal. To, to If I had to go back to one of them, it, it would be to, to go back and play. But obviously, I, I'm a witness player. I'm, I'm really enjoying my time here. So hopefully, that's uh, I can stay here for a few more years. Um, I think we've got some really good academy players coming through. Um, I think you, you've seen Jack Owens has played a few games this season and he's gone really well. Um, but uh, probably the one, one for me that is exciting is uh, Alex Brown, really, really quick winger. Uh, he's not the tallest, but um, he's very quick. He's probably one of the quickest players I've ever seen on the field. Um, good feet, strong upper body. Um, probably just his, his height that lets him down, but he's a very good player. and. Um, if he got a chance, I think he, he, he could do some some damage in the in the league. Um, working hard, I think it's all about attitude and, and your commitment to it. I, th I think if, if you've got them, then, then you can go a long way. Um, I think some really skillful players have fallen by the wayside because the lack of lack of effort and lack of attitude. So for me, they're the two two biggest things in a, in a player. I, I don't. I probably really don't have a favourite player. Um, probably the best player I've played with is Andy Farrell when I was at Wigan. He just commanded the respect of everyone around him, whether it be teammates, opposition, coaching staff, uh, with his presence and his attitude to training. Um, so he's probably the the best player I've played with, um, just just for them aspects really. Uh, but I don't really probably say I have a, a favourite player who I've always loved to, to watch. I must admit, before I started helping out at that weight, it, it was something really high on my priority list. But since I've been down there, I've really enjoyed it, being amongst the lads and be, being in a different position rather than doing as I'm told, dishing out the orders for a change with uh, with Bills. So yeah, it, it is something now that maybe I'd look at, but um, it's probably not top of my priority list, even though I do enjoy it. Really enjoying it. Um, obviously, eight years over in Hull uh, was great, uh, but yeah, to be back over this side with family and friends again, um, babysitters on tap is probably the key one for me. So yeah, I'm really enjoying it, and uh, it's glad, I'm really glad to be back over here and uh, back to my, my native northwest. Um, yeah, I do. Um, I think the fact that Witness haven't been in Super League for a few years has probably um, made it dwindle probably a little bit. But yeah, I, I definitely think that any rivalry can be up there. I think we're two really competitive teams. I think it would grow a lot more. Uh, hopefully we're trying to get there. So in a, in a few years' time, obviously we, we're hoping we can be towards that level. Um, no, I, I think leave it as it is. I think one referee is enough. Uh, 
they've got a difficult job. I, I don't think any referee's got an easy job. Obviously, they, they, they can't have eyes everywhere, and they do come in for a lot of criticism. But you, you can't really ever um, have a go at a referee for not trying his best. As a player, you, you always got to try your best as a player, and I, I, referees have got to do the same. And I'm sure they all do. So, um, one referee is more than enough for me, and I, I think they shouldn't change it. Um, yeah, I wouldn't say I tried to adopt his style. Obviously, he was a big influence in my career when I was at Wigan. I listened to him a lot. And he was very forthcoming with advice. So I suppose a lot of the things I do were, or did were, were around what Chris taught me. So I can see that obviously there is some some aspects that I have tried to keep in my game that Rad did, but I've also tried to add to my game with, with other people and watching other other people play. So uh, yeah, Rad was a massive influence on my career and. Um, uh, I don't think there's probably a, a better person you can learn off.